Hey guys, welcome back to Turok Evolution. In the last part, we just finished up Chapter 4, and we are now entering the Slag Fortress and Chapter 5. So this is going to be the first area of the fortress, and this is really sort of like an endurance test. This area isn't really all that hard. The only thing you're going to have trouble with is like probably just ammo and then just not being able to like... I don't know, I mean the place isn't really that hard and I'll show you why. Anyway, um, you go through this little cutscene basically just showing you that there's a big guy running some computer up there. And it brings us back to us. So let's just go. Okay. So, um, hold on, let me just oh, go ahead and start off by opening up all these boxes. Just so that then you can, like, fuel up on ammo and stuff. There's a quad shot barrel right there if you didn't get it before. But I'm starting to wonder how you could not get it by this point, you know? More grenades, shotgun shells, nothing back there. And that's it. Now we've got our rocket launcher back. We've got our flamethrower. The Fletcher gun slash minigun here. Only 22 rounds in the minigun, so that sucks. Grenades, shotgun, and bow. First, I'm going to start off with the bow and the explosive arrows. Just because I like working with uh, accurate explosions first. Alright, so, as soon as you come in this area, that door is going to open up and two more enemies are going to come out. So now, you need to just keep your eyes peeled around these uh, pillars, because lots of enemies are going to start spawning soon. Alright, kill you. And they just came out of there. So now, uh, what you want to do is get your rockets. And is this going to open? Or am I at the wrong door? I really hope I'm not at the wrong door. Aha! Just go ahead, go ahead and do that and kill as many as you can. Um, so I pretty much just killed like four people with one shot. That's really the easiest way to do that. And of course, you know, you've got nothing really huge or big coming up, so you don't really have to save your rockets for anything, but there is also something that you may want to save them for, so watch out. Anyway, uh, there's going to be another minigun guy coming at you, and watch out because I'm about to die. Maybe that wasn't the smartest thing I've ever done. Run at a bunch of enemies. But whatever. Okay, that the big guy will drop a, uh, a large med kit. And then as soon as you um, do that, this guy will come on out and attack you. So, um, if you're using the flame... Crap, out of ammo. Crap. Stop it. Ah, just got... I'm trying to pay attention, sorry. Right. Ah, need a good weapon. Boom. Ah, why do I keep missing? Ah, stop shooting me. Come on. Boom. Die. Okay, so he will also drop a large med kit. So if you get into trouble with him, kind of like how I did, um, you can just grab that med kit and you'll be fine. Anyway, go ahead and get your explosive arrows or your rocket launcher for this part so you can take out the teleporter easily. And since it's the explosive arrows, you can also, you'll also be doing damage to them right after they spawn. And if you get low on health, just look in the freaking boxes, because that's what I really need to do, because I'm about to die again. Um, crap. I know that there is another uh, large med kit around here somewhere, it's just I'm a little bit afraid to come out here. Okay, here we go. There. Alright, so that's actually it. That is all the first part of Chapter 5. So, I might as well look around just a little bit. Um, come right here and blow up these boxes, and you'll have more health and arrows if you need them. So, if you need health, basically just check the boxes, because that's where it's all going to be. So, yeah. Anyway, I will see you in the next area.